watching the screening in the last two days, yes. I, I, on the lighter side, I just thought to myself that, you know, the senators will appreciate the job of a journalist, maybe my job, a little more, because they had to do the question and answer session. Do you see a situation where that question and answer session could, be, could become a lot more structured? Uh, in the sense that if the Senate has decided that this is the tradition that we're going to adopt, uh, and I know that there are, there are competing interests in terms of how many questions people want to ask, how, the type of questions they want to fire, you know, uh, do you think that to make the most out of it, do you, do you, do you, would you advocate for a more structured uh, question and answer sessions, session such that it's not just the senators who benefit from the knowledge, but perhaps the you know, people out there want to also ask certain questions or would love to see certain questions asked and, you know, we want those questions put to the candidates or the nominees. Do you see that happening in future? Well, uh, yeah, let me put it a, a, a little bit different. Well, it's a very good question you have raised. Yeah, and um, I plead to Lai Muhammad, one of the best in your profession, is represented. But your question is very important. And I say it is important because if it is structured, the best will come out of uh, our senators, the best will come out of the nominees. But again, this is when nominees are assi assigned uh, uh, ministries. That way, you pull out the best. For example, if we are asking you as a nominee for uh, uh, an education portfolio, we ask you specific questions concerning your ministry. I, 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 but we are we're not sure of where you are going. We we'll continue to ask general questions. That could, could that not have changed this time? assigning ministries to. Mm -hmm. Well, that is not uh, the responsibility of the legislature to assign ministries. No, no, no. The, 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 the structure uh, the president. Of the president. Yeah, because well, it's your party. Uh, this is, you're, doing, you're supposed to be doing things differently, as people expect. So many thought, you had a meeting with the president before the time, the leadership of the Senate. And then your party, we believe, also had meetings with the president, several consultations with him. So people thought, could you not have done it separate, differently? Attach portfolios to those names. So when you're asking questions, everyone knows what to expect from such persons. Well, I must confess that I'm not part of uh, leadership. So I As don't a party, party high-ranking party oh, okay. member. Okay, well, uh, well, that would have been uh, a plus, yeah, quite frankly. But you know, change is a process. It comes gradually. Yeah, for now, we have submitted uh, the uh, the president submitted the names. I, I would have loved that uh, portfolios were attached to these names to ensure a uh, better uh, questioning process. It wasn't done. Change is more embracing than just assigning uh, 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 ministries to nominees. Uh, a change offensive is intended to do what? to ensure enthronement of transparency and accountability. Yeah, well, and this, this is, is one first area, and sorry to interrupt you, Senator, but this is one area where Nigerians would have loved to see some elements of change. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't have to be big things. It doesn't have to be in the major things. Yes, in the major things are welcome, but these are small things that also go a long way to it making a difference. You don't agree? Well, well actually, I, I saw that uh, we would have been uh, in a better uh, position to uh, to structure these questions, if we knew uh, who was going to where, mm. uh, but uh, it wasn't so. But I, is this something you recommend not. in future? Well, in future, yes, this it should be done. And remember, during the seventh Senate, attempts were made to uh, ensure that the executive also complied. But you see, this is a body democracy. And I, I, I know the kind of pressure that people go through, uh, the president in particular, in picking uh, these names out of over one million people interested and so on and so forth. But I, 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 I take your decision very seriously. That in future, uh, uh, this could be done. Uh, and uh, so far, we just want to uh, focus on what is very, very substantive here. Very quickly here, uh, you know, Nigerians uh, have gone through two days uh, of uh, uh, a, a changed process because uh, the era of taking a bow and going, even if you were being asked to take a bow and leave, you were still asked uh, some uh, bit of questions. But. Uh, uh, for the former governor, because uh, Chimula just dropped a, a trending word now, ministerial governor, uh, well, former governor Amechi, uh, 
he's still not being screened. What's the thinking of uh, the he's Senate not. being screened? Uh, first, uh, it was moved to yesterday, and uh, people were amazed he wasn't there yesterday. And the news is that he's uh, it's been deferred, making front page story, and no one uh, has a date. What's the thinking of the Senate uh, or its committee looking at the petition from his state? Well, uh, thank you very much. Um, it, it is normal uh, in our democracy uh, uh, to uh, uh, move forward uh, uh, the confirmation date of some of the nominees where we believe that uh, there are petitions against them. In the case of Amechi, we know that uh, Senators from River State uh, had a petition uh, against him uh, signed by other people that he should not be cleared. And so this petition has been referred to the uh, Privileges, Ethics and Petitions, Public Petitions uh, Committee uh, for our investigation. And we didn't want to rush it. And, and that is why it's taking uh, uh, just a little while. It has taken some time, but we're believing uh, that uh, he will certainly, uh, it will certainly be uh, submitted to us, and we take it uh, uh, in full plenary. It's not something that we do um, in an executive session. Uh, the whole thing is transparent, and uh, we want Nigerians to know what we are doing. And so, uh, the issue shouldn't be that of uh, Major being a former governor. Of course, being a former public servant, uh, the scrutiny is more directed at you uh, than uh, other people. And, you, and, uh, well, well, sorry to got you there because I'm looking at time and space now. H how do you feel knowing for all that uh, some of the nominees by uh, the governors were not taken by the presidency? Some of the nominees uh, from some state governors we are not, uh, or ra rather, did not make the list. But, but this is uh, not unusual. I, I said it from the beginning. I remember when I was governor and um, um, the, the president, then uh, Chivalushik Nobasanjo, wanted to appoint ministers. He wrote to us to submit three names. You see, three names is going to pick one. In 1979, my uncle, uh, Ambassador Okume, uh, was then working as Secretariat of the uh, MPN in Lagos. At the end of the day, uh, President Shagari, uh, President Elek, uh, sent him to some of the states to collect names from the leaders. He got to Kwara, he met uh, 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 Dr. Uh, uh, Saraki and uh, Shula Saraki, and he said three names, and Saraki said, he gave one. He said, Sir, uh, the president, uh, president Elek said one, uh, three names. He said, No, it's just one. He's going to pick. He's going to make only one man from uh, Kwara minister. I'm not going to give three. I'm going to give one, and this is the one. If I give three, then I go and pick someone I don't like. <laughs> so, you see, you can always submit names, and uh, the discretion uh, rests with the president. He picks someone he thinks he can work with, and uh, if he decides to go solo. Yes, the Nigerians, by the oppression of the constitution, he's right. That I have crisscrossed the country, I've worked with these people. I believe I can work better with uh, my sister here than, uh, uh, than my brother here. Uh, so, so you see, but he has satisfied the provision of the constitution. Are those people picked? Are those people picked? Qualified? And that they're competent enough this is the to be part of the change offensive.